you know, radical from hard hats to crowns to this moment capitulate. Let me explain something. I worked for Coach Baglin all through the 90s. I was on Wall Street. Anyway, I worked for the team. We were state. We had a famous trainer later who left there, trained all over the NBA, who trained one of Kobe Bryant. He trained Kobe Bryant. He's a personal trainer. One day he says, Kevin, Kobe's like you. He's got that quantum physics brain like you. You know, how you go. And I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? He says, he told me, isn't it incredible how basketball will tell the tale of culture before it happens? Oh, boy, is that not true. I've always been able to see the future. How about that guy? Wow. Wow. He capitulated. Look at the price of that ticket. That ticket costs you 60000 now. It's a luxury good. I'll guarantee Quinn Snyder had no clue. He quit on this famous. I was in that building. That electricity's right. Never felt electricity. I've been a lot of incredible events in my life and a lot of credible places. Never felt electricity like that. Never. I remember standing on that because I was in this. There's no light in that big dumb drum. It's not the Salt Palace. But there's a little spear that comes through. I stand right there, and I'll never forget that sun coming through. And uh, Foster was having a big game. Malone was going crazy. And the crowd was so electric, it was unbelievable. And I had one of those incredible epiphany moments, you know. And then Annika died later. I mean, everything just, what series they were. Oh, my God. How about, he's going to get nine if they win it? You know, that way he's get Heinz in from hard hats to crowns. American, it capitulated, it was over. Basketball is the metaphor, it tells everything. It's all about the money.